shout out to Kion Pulleys, Pulley, Pulley, Pulley. I don't know how you pronounce his name, but shout out to his channel. His channel is very funny. He goes through songs and he has this thing on his channel where he does the lyrics we let slide. And it's amazing. It is amazing. And in part 100 of that series that he has on his channel, there's actually a song and the lyrics go, everybody, everybody cheats, but you got to know how and you got to know when. So songs have been popularizing cheating for the longest time. Now we have people out here talking about high value man and how are they part, part of the one top 1% 1 of earners and therefore, you know, uh, quite the catch and quite hard to get. And if they do cheat on you as a woman, you're just supposed to shrug your shoulders and keep it pushing because you are not likely to find anybody like this guy because he's a catch. There are not a lot of high value men out there anyway. So, you know, it's been popularized in songs since the 90s. Um, it's been popularized by some of these shows, been popularized by some of these, um, you know, reality TV shows that we see um, and things that we just see in the media, right? In any case, came across this lady, you know, as I'm all in this dating sphere, manosphere, women's sphere, whatever you call these sphere, sphere, sphere places. And I came across this woman and she says, why do men cheat? And she's gonna break it down for us. Why do men cheat? So yeah, let's get into it and see what she's got to say and whether we agree with it or disagree with it. Why is men cheat? It has to be some sort of a, a, a theory, you know, some sort of an experiment, some sort of something that we really need to research and be sure that we have all the facts right. I don't really know if it's something that needs to be researched. Um, You get a guy that's a straight up dude or you don't. You either get a guy who's going to put himself in the way of temptation or you don't. Temptation is a thing we're not going to be able to change. It's a thing that's always out there. Tempt a person enough. If you put, and I think there's a research actually out there on this. If you put two people in some cave somewhere, in a room somewhere for long enough, even if they're not physically attracted to some to each other, something may be able to happen. I remember reading about a study about this ages and ages ago. Don't think I'll be able to find it, but yeah, you put people together like that and yeah, things might happen because uh, apparently it's human nature, but if you're not put in such a, a weird situation and you made your vows and you take your marriage very seriously, um, I don't know how cheating or even your courtship, if you take it very seriously, I don't see how cheating is something that everybody does, but let's continue. But anyway, yes, that is what I did. I did my research very well and I just found a couple of reasons why men cheat. And among these reasons um, that we women contribute a lot to men cheating. And, and this is the thing. I don't think women contribute to jack diddly squat. If the woman is not doing it for you, just go. That's not called cheating. That's just pack your stuff and go in Jesus' name. Get the heck up out of that house or she goes whatever the situation is you're not attracted to the person anymore you just keep your dignity preserve hers and bounce and this is vice versa too if women want to cheat that's wrong too if you're not attracted to the other person if and not even just attraction but you're just you're just not the vibe is just not good anymore you're just not compatible any longer it's sad when, when this happens but it does happen why cheat don't just go and test drive somewhere else and be like, mm, now let me come home and see what this was like again. I'm not quite sure. Let me go back to the side chick, the side dude, see what that's like again. Uh, you know what? Let me just let me just come back and, and see what it's like over here again. And have your cake and literally eat it too. What the actual heck? To me, that is ridiculous. Cheating is not necessary. If you ask me, just pack your stuff and go away. How do we do this? We do this by the fact that if we are dating someone for the first time or maybe we have just started seeing each other for the first time we try so hard so hard so hard to look pretty for them we try so hard to be that person who we want uh, maybe them to see in us but as time goes by it's like everything just goes back to where it was like we no longer want to polish up for our men we no longer want to make ourselves look pretty but yeah that is why men at times feel that i need to look for some adventure somewhere and that adventure somewhere is going to do the exact same thing to you 
you think look now with instagram and everything i we've seen a lot of celebrities in their bonnets without makeup whereas before heck the only way we would see them is on the tabloids or inside the tabloids or on mtv or whatever music station you had going on wherever you are but now we can see them in their full humanness you know so that slacking and whatever whatever that happens to anybody and you go and get somebody somewhere else and because they're trying to hold on to him they'll do all the makeup hair did nails did everything good the body snatched everything and once they've got him they'll let everything go but let's not forget that men do the exact same things okay all of a sudden you're coming back from work oh now you don't want to take a shower anymore you just want to be stunk up all in the bed okay what is that about now you're no longer wearing your shoot suit your shirt now it's jogging jogging uh, uh track suits up and down all the time like you don't dress up for me you don't even put your cologne you don't even put your nice perfume anymore you know now your hygiene's gone backward i mean what's that now you're just talking to me with your mouth open uh, all the time when you're eating foods flying all over the table okay now you're no longer opening doors for me and the door opening thing i'm one of those chicks that's like not all the time i think that's a bit exaggerated uh you have hands uh, you're blessed with hands you can open your own doors but every now and again you know especially if somebody does that in a dating phase this is a thing that specifically guys do when they're dating a woman you do that in a dating phase and then after a while you're like mm, huh? i'm not gonna do this no more i got her she's in the bag I don't have to woo her anymore then to me that's also that's just trickery so it goes both ways you know and they're going somewhere else to find the grass that's green on the other side that grass turns funny too come winter so just keep that in mind we need to provide a variety to our men and how do we do this we do this by being the comfort that he needs because men love a lady who he can go home to and the first thing is not that the lady will be like where are you coming from what have you been doing why are you so late oh my god you smell like Women perfume. Hola. You smell like women perfume. Okay, the bro, bro, why do you smell like women perfume though? I need some answers. Like, wouldn't you want the same thing if your woman came home smelling like, uh, you know, men perfume? Wouldn't that just be a little bit curious? Just a little bit. Who's been all up in your neck? Who's been all up in your face? Who? Where have you been? And if the person is coming home super late and you don't know where they are and there's no communication there, yeah, questions need to be asked. <laughs> Questions need to be asked. That's not normal. You know, and that's the thing. It shouldn't even ever get to these these situations. Then you won't get these silly questions. If you're like, oh, I'm going here, I'm going there. Chick should be like, fine, no restrictions. A guy should be free to do whatever the heck he wants to do. Go out with his mates, go out with his colleagues, go out, do whatever. Same goes for a woman. You know, but if it's very often and you don't know where they are and a whole bunch of stuff, then I think it is time for a chat so that this doesn't happen and all this woo 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 in somebody's face i mean for me that's unnecessary anyway so the problem here is not yeah women don't do that the problem is why is he doing that and vice versa but you know we're talking about why do men cheat here or that's what she's talking about in her video um yeah there needs to be some conversation some clarification you suck you know you don't come back This is a very good point. You know, it's not only about nagging, nagging, nagging. Guys like to talk too, and they like to be heard. You know, they like to be heard in what they're going through as well. Women like to talk a lot, but men sure can talk a lot too, especially when there's something on their mind. And then they need that advice that only a woman can give with her soft, soft spoken tone. No, but I'm just saying, you know, that's when your femininity needs to come out at a thousand. And you really need to use your softness, the soft side of you, to console, to encourage, to motivate, and to uplift. I do agree with that. Someone to talk to. Because most women nowadays, we tend to care so much about ourselves. We forget that building a man requires us and him as well. It's not just, it's not just him, it's also you and both of you as a couple you need to be that lady who encourages your man to work hard because he can never find that in anyone else another thing you have to be
also the guy should do the same thing so i'm gonna go both ways because you see when you make videos like what she's doing then people think you don't think the other way around but she obviously towards the end i think she does allude to that but um at the same time guys need to listen to women as well they're the ones who can give a no-nonsense kind of approach and thought process to things without too many feelings and too many thoughts involved it just goes straight to the point it's like this is like that and they, they give you resolutions that are so like straightforward it just pushes feelings and things to decide and just things rational right what are we doing this that that what's the best thing to do in this situation in this scenario stuff like that right so both ways you need to be a very good listener really be able to listen very very well you have to be loving you have to be caring like all the time it, you know you reach a point and you just stop caring because you feel like dude you're used to it you should go like girl no treat your man like he deserves give your man some love when he comes back from work show him that you've been waiting for him to come back and when he comes back look sexy for him that is if the guy is the one who's coming home late because if it's the man, if it's the woman who is coming home late, uh, the woman can also expect a meal, a cooked meal, a home cooked meal when she comes home. You know, these days, hey, it's fair. I'm fair. I'm like, look, if the man is coming home later, best believe that when he comes back, there's a home cooked meal, hot and ready the minute he steps in, and has after he has a shower and everything, that food is standing there. In the same way, if it's the woman who comes home later than the guy, you would have to expect the exact same treatment. These gender role things, we're gonna keep things equal. We're gonna do this equal opportunities kind of thing because that's what that, that's where we're at as a society. Women can do it too, but guys should do it too. There are sexy lingerie, all those pajamas you're wearing. So sexy lingerie, okay. You too, the guy, make sure you shower, smell good, smell fresh, look good, clean cut, everything. Get, get yourself on point two. So, hanging from all the corners mm -hmm. and like, really no, throw those away. Ladies, those baggy things, things with holes in them, socks, underwear, lingerie, pajamas, all faded. The teddy bear on top of your pajamas, all faded, looking like a, a little uh, duck right now. It's so faded that you can't even tell what animal is on the pajama. <laughs> that is if you wear a pyjama with animals. If you're wearing one of those sexy pyjamas, if you got all holes, yeah, it's, it's lace and it's got all holes in it, that the thing looks like strings rather than lace, my friend, throw that thing away. Like, or use it to make a mask. Because a lot of people be using their old clothes to make masks these days. But yeah, throw it away. Take it away or give it to one of those places where you can donate clothes. Because sometimes you can donate clothes that aren't good. They sort them anyway. So just donate it there because they know how to recycle the textile, right? But in any case, do not keep that. Because you need to want to look sexy for yourself, not even for a guy. So get that straight. Huge. Dude, he's going to look for another sexy mm -hmm. ass out there if you're not providing him with what he needs. Again, the other sexy person out there can just turn out just the same as you do. But don't worry about the other people. You try and figure out a way to make your house and your household whole. If you don't want your mind to check, I know it's a lot of work, but girl, you gotta try and do some more work in order for your mind not to check. Now, this is not really something that I'm, I'm just you know looking at one side even for men like if you everything your lady wants then she's not gonna change she's just gonna be there she's not gonna change she's she's, she's really going to be someone that you always wanted so women all we have to do is provide our men with variety something he cannot find in some sad chick elsewhere even if you have a big booty they don't have big brains like you do. So now that I've told you this little secret, you need to work on it. Return your verbal because these men are hard to impress. I know. I know that. I know. <laughs> it is a known fact that they are very hard to impress, but so are women. I think we need to stop forgetting that women are really hard to impress too. They will look you up and down, give you the stank looks and everything. Talk about, hmm, who you think he is trying to talk to me? He can't talk to me. 
not with them shoes, not with them glasses, not with them, you know. Women can do it too. So on both spectrums, I would just say that people have class and people have a, a thing that they want and people have a preference and people know what they're worth and are super picky and there is nothing wrong with that. Get what you want. We, we can try. We can start with that. <laughs> In any case, some good points made. Um, everybody cheats, but you gotta know how and you gotta know when. What kind of ridiculous advice is that? What kind of thing is that to put in a song? It's kind of weird if you think about it now. Don't know if a song like that would do well these days. But yeah, for me, the cheating part is just not necessary. If you're unhappy, it's gonna be really sad and very painful, but I think you just have to keep on having conversations as to how your relationship is going every time throughout the years, decades. You need to do that, keep talking, keep conversing, and then you know where you stand. And if things need to change, you can change them along the way instead of waiting so long till things become so irritating that you do not know what to do with yourself, that you just want to run away because at this point you feel like the person can't change and you have it in your mind that, oh, this person has been like this for the last 20 years, I'm fed up, I'm done with him, I'm done with her, I'm gone. No. Keep talking so that at least when you le bounce, the person has a clue as to why you're le bouncing, right? You need open dialogue. And then in that case, there will be no instance of cheating because it will be like, they left, they're separated, they're divorced, they're no longer boyfriend and girlfriend, and this person has gone on to the other, another person or is single or chooses to do whatever they want to do. But not hold on to this one and trying to mess with other people that is wrong 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 that that doesn't show any moral code whatsoever communication is key these days people don't know how to communicate they're just quick to just bounce onto another person or divorce or stuff like that but good communication is so needed so that even divorce and cheating and all that and separation never ever a year over has to happen in any case, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you give thumbs up as on to the subscribe button. Comment because I really want to know what you think. Like because you obviously like this video and click the notification bell while you're at it. I'll see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow. Daily videos up in here. In the meantime, make time for glorious life. It's something that everyone is living it right. God bless.